Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Timothy Adon, composer by day, gamer by night. And today I am going to show you how to do robotic voices. Now I was inspired to do this partly one because I have already done it, but uh, also because there are lots of videos on how to do it using Audacity, which is very very cool and for free so you can go get it. And I've even got it right here because I use it occasionally. But uh, that's not going to be the point of this video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use it, how to do that using Sonar X2, and my phone is buzzing at me. So, I'm going to show you how to make a robotic voice using Sonar X2, as well as a couple third-party uh, free VST plugins. And I'll also tell you where to get those. And there are tons and tons and tons and tons of free plugins that you can get on uh, VST for free or pluginboutique.com and if I remember I will try to put those uh, those links into the description of this video but for now so I'm just gonna show you really quick now there's one type of software I'm not gonna be able to show you and that's because when I was trying to record this video as soon as I put the plugin in my computer started to just really slow up and that's this Talvo coder and uh, vocoders are probably one of the most common ways to do it, but not the popular, well, okay. It is, it's the most popular way, but it's not the best way, at least as far as I've found. Uh, so I've used this vocoder. You can test it out for yourself. I am unfortunately unable to show it to you while I'm recording this video. So I'm gonna show you the other ways. I just wanted to mention it so that you could be curious and wonder why I can't show you. Um, so first thing I'm going to show you is this pitch shifter. Now when you're doing a robotic voice, and actually I'm going to turn this off really quick, uh, I have a recording right here of what I'm going to have the robot voice say. Engines online. Sensors online. Weapons online. You get the idea. I've also got a uh, more kind of deeper voice version in the, at the end of this. So, pitch shifter, very, like, it should be self-explanatory. And now, if I turn it on, this is what it's set at when you open it up. Engines, online. Sensors, online. Weapons. Now, already, without having to do very much. So, let's make, put in a little bit of dry voice right there. Uh... Raise this up just a little bit, a little bit more fine. Weapons online. All systems nominal. Alright, do that up there. Put this back down. Weapons online. All systems. Alright. See what happens when I do feedback. Engines online. Sensors online. Weapons online. Engines online. Getting a little bit more of an alien voice here. Engines online. Ah, that's Sensors better. online. Engines online. Engines online. There we go. Let's increase the fine a bit. Engines online. Sensors online. All right. So using this, and now I'm going to show you another example of this in just a second. But first, the other type of free VST plugin that I'm going to show you is the Stereo Touch. And let's see if my computer can handle this. Engines online. All right. So you want this to give it a little bit of stereo spread and give it a little bit of space and width. So right now we're going to lower this down a bit. Engines online. Sensors online. Weapons online. All systems nominal. All right. Target lock acquired. Target eliminated. New enemies detected. Engines online. Uh, okay, I was Sensors wrong. Sensors online. I was wrong. 
the first batch of voices is my deep is my quote unquote deeper voice and I'm using my fingers even though you can't see that and the later ones are actually the higher pitch let's go down to that because that's where this should be engines online sensors online and obviously it does help to when you're recording the vocal to actually shape it the way that you want it to sound when you process it because obviously the second half is actually sounding much better because I purposely used a smoother voice engines online sensors online now same thing obviously I used this for a deeper voice so let's do that engines online sensors online weapons online Engines online, sensors online, weapons online, all systems nominal. Aha, uh -huh. see there Engines you go. Engines online, sensors online, weapons online, all systems nominal. Target lock acquired. Target eliminated. New enemies detected. Engines online. Sensors online. See that? Engines online. Sensors and just online. By sweeping weapons online. All systems nominal. Sweeping through all of the variables here, you have a wide variety of different choices that you can use for modifying your voice for robotic voices. Now, I'm going to get rid of these. That was third-party software. The pitch shifter I got off of vstforfree.com and the stereo touch I got off of pluginboutique.com. There we go. Let's not butcher that. Now, I had several, several, several other choices that I could have used. And, and honestly, there were some better ones that I wanted. Uh, the thing that you have to be aware of, though, is that lots of plugins won't work depending on your computer and the software that you are using. So I've had a number of crashes in the midst of trying to find a few, just a couple uh, free VSTs. And that is the risk because, you know, it's free, so you're not going to get great quality. But you will find things that are terribly useful, like this pitch shifter and stereo spread is actually really good. I'm actually really surprised and happy with it, but not as happy as the built-in cakewalk stuff that I used to make a couple of robot voices. I don't think they, I don't think any of my robot voices were used in any of my videos, but you know, you might be able to hear them at some point. So, uh, first off, we're going to want the, uh, under the cakewalk tab, pitch shifter. Engines online so same thing oops i didn't want to do that there we go uh we don't need it to be that high pitched so let's do that and let's add in a little bit of dry in there and just a little bit less wet because uh engines online sensors online weapons online all systems nominal Target lock acquired. Target eliminated. New enemies detected. Engines online. Sensors online. Weapons online. All systems nominal. A perfect strategy. Resistance is futile. Engines online, sensors online, weapons online, all systems nominal. Target lock acquired. Target eliminated. New enemies detected. Engines online. Sensors 
online. Weapons online. All systems nominal. A perfect strategy. Resistance is futile. So same thing. All right. So now that we've got that, uh, the other one is vocal strip. And I use this as the stereo spread. If you go over here to the doubler, you get this cool little graphic. And you can use that to boost or decrease the, the stereo spread, as well as to make it closer or wider. So watch this. Engines online. Sensors online. Weapons online. All systems nominal. Target lock acquired. Target eliminated. New enemies detected. Engines online. Sensors online. Weapons online. All systems nominal. A perfect strategy. Resistance is futile. And then same thing with the low voice. Engines online. Sensors online. Weapons online. All systems nominal. Target lock acquired. Target eliminated. New enemies detected. Engines online. Sensors online. Weapons online. All systems nominal. And there you go. It's really that easy to make your own robot voices. And obviously there are other ways you can do it. Some people will just take the voice and copy and paste it in order to get their doubling in a uh, somewhat more natural way. But there are, you know, using this method you can get some very, very rudimentary robot sounds going. And there is obviously better software to do it with. Um, if you were to find... Like, I'm fairly certain you can find better pitch shifters and better stereo spreaders or doublers or delays or what have you. And obviously what I'm doing is very basic, but this should be a very good start for you. And as an added bonus, I just thought of something. What happens if you take all of this and if you wanted to make a ro uh, a alien voice, reverse... Okay, so it's a little bit, uh, let's turn this back on and turn this on. Let's see what happens. This will be fun. This <laughs> 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 And there you have it. Your own alien language and voice at the same time as making uh, a robot voice. So there you go, a couple of really easy things that you can try out and experiment with and overall just have fun. You know, there is a lot of creative potential with all the free software that there is out there for you. And honestly, Audacity can also use uh, VSTs. So if you use Audacity, uh, you can use its built-in, uh, you can use its built-in software but you can also go ahead and experiment with the free VSTs like the pitch shifter and, and stereo touch here. So don't be afraid to download something for free. And, you know, VST for free and Plugin Boutique are both things that you can use and not necessarily be afraid of. Just be aware there will be some crashes. Just delete the software and start again because usually the crashes only occur when you're using the software in question. 
uh, I must have gone through three or four different third-party plugins before I finally found these two. And they're not my first choice, but they're the ones that I was able to get working. So you use what you can use. Um, and also be aware of the vocoders. Again, I wasn't able to show you one because it wasn't working with my recording software. So there's that. But uh, also keep in mind that this is just with the free software. If you've got software for money, uh, I've got uh, Mach 5 right here. And that could also be used uh, for pitch shifting. And it's also got its own robotizer and it's got a couple other things that could be used. So just keep all this in mind. There are lots of resources out there, both free and for money. Uh, you can use Audacity, Cakewalk, any kind of DAW that you have you can use. If you're on a Mac, I'm so sorry. That's all I have to say about that. Um, there, there, are other, there are things you can get for being on a Mac. I just can't remember what it's called. I can't remember what the Mac plugins are called. So, yeah. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you want more of it, please let me know. If you liked it, hit like, hit share, hit subscribe, hit whatever buttons that people on YouTube hit in order to say that they liked the video. Um, and I hope you have a fantastic day. And bye-bye.